Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I'm finally making a backpack. Now, there is a good reason for this. Um, those of you who followed me for some time, and particularly on my Instagram, you know that I'm a big fan of Disney. Love some Disney, particularly Tinkerbell. She is my spirit fairy. Love, but I just love Disney, and I think it's um, one of those things that is ageless and I particularly love a range of bag by a brand called Loungefly and they do make ordinary shaped handbags but in the main they are known for their backpacks now they're not in this shape I have got one handy to show you um, they have a domed top and they have a front pocket and actually this happens to be a Mickey Mouse related one um, hence why he's got some ears you can see there's a rainbow that's why I chose it but they're back they are famed for their backpacks and I wanted to make a backpack now as I film this I'm just trying to not let this bag fall on the floor oh <laughs> hello did you appear Cyril appeared that's also why I've chosen this paper <laughs> because of the cats so I am actually working on a prototype to get that dome but I wanted to make just wanted to make a backpack for you I know that there are some out there on the internet I wanted to make my own shape this is the part where you can put stuff in you can on this one as well what you'd put in there I'm not really sure but this would be the bit that you would put stuff in so reasonably simple to make despite the fact it looks a little complicated it's actually not so I'm going to put that to one side and yes I have chosen the playful pets this is the reason why all right so I've got all my bits and pieces here and I want to get I don't want to lose any of them these are my handles don't want to lose those so for the main body, for this main part here, you need a piece of cardstock that's 8 by 11 inches, 20 by 28 centimetres, and everything will be written down on my blog. You don't have to pause or anything and take notes of measurements. It's all on my blog. Just click open the description bar below if you're watching this on YouTube, and the, the measurements are all there for all of the parts, all of the panels, all of the everything. And obviously, if you're watching it on my blog, the instructions are there. So, 8 by 11 inches, 20 by 28 centimetres. On the long side, score it up one and a half, five and a quarter, six and three quarters. Oh, I jumped that. Six and three quarters. We'll make that the bottom. And ten and a half inches, which in metric is four, thirteen and a half, seventeen and a half, and twenty-seven. And then we're going to part score at what where am I part scoring I don't remember <laughs> I'm going to come back to that uh, on the short side score it at one and a half and six inches which in metric is four and fifteen where am I part scoring three quarters of an inch down to the five inch mark and six inches down to there which in met she's just stolen a reel of ribbon off my shelf I didn't want that one Sorrel and in metric you're scoring it to the two inch and the fifteen and a half sorry two centimeters and fifteen and a half okay. stop talking Sam okay and then from here score down And the same there. And you can see those very well. And that's where I jumped. But this is going to form the bottom of the box. So we're not too worried about that. Right. So let's burnish the, the full lines. Don't worry about the part score. It's just the full lines at this point. So it's too cute, isn't it? Like I say, I'm working on a prototype for the dome shape. They make billions of bags, this company. Um, mostly they work with um, Disney. And every Disney character you can imagine is on there. And I do, when I get a new bag, I do share it on Instagram. Because, you know, sharing is caring. Right. So, this is my loose edge. And this is my tight edge. Because that's where the small bit is and it's actually this panel here is going to come from the back and fold forwards so we're going to get rid of that entire section there and that one there so 
So the whole lot gone. And that section. Okay, I did look to see if I could use that on the front of the, the box. It didn't work. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take away that bit, cut these ones and straighten them out. Have them straight. Cut them straight. Oh, Samantha, switch your brain on. <laughs> okay, so that's going to come round and that's going to come over. So I want to round these corners off. So I've got my detail trio punch. And then my little panel of designer series paper that's going to go on there. This measures, I don't remember, <laughs> it measures three and a half by one and three quarters. Oh, I've written it down. Designer series paper, three and a half by one and three quarters. <laughs> so it's four and a half by nine centimetres. And I need to round the corners, but obviously I need to make sure it's the right way up. Um, I just realised I didn't tell you the finished dimensions of the bag. That is one and a half inches by three and three quarters by four and a half inches. So that's four by nine and a half by eleven and a half centimetres. Right. That's going to go on there. And I'm grab my tearing tape. Oops, take all of the backing off, don't leave some of it behind. And as I said, this is the back. So you fold in two sides and the back. More tape along here. Oh, hello Sorrel. And bring that round. So I'm not going to put my magnets in place just yet because actually I want to build up the box, the front panel on here. So you need another piece of cardstock that's eight by four inches, 19 by nine and a half centimeters. Okay, so on the short side, on the long side, on the long side, score it at half an inch, uh, three and three quarters, four and a quarter, and seven and a half inches, which in metric is one, nine, 10, 18. And then on the other side, score it at half an inch, two and a half, and three inches, which in metric is one, six, and seven. And very similar to how we made the main box, the exception is we haven't put part scores in. So burnish everything up. Okay, what we've got on this one is we've got two panels that are exactly the same side, but we'll work on the fact that this is going to fold round. And so I'm gonna take away that little bit cut these and the same as before this one is what's going to fold round so we need to keep that section all of that and get rid of everything else do we get rid of everything else no we keep the little squares <laughs> so cut there keep the little square Cut straight down there we're going to keep that little square and then get rid of all of this. And I'm just going to mitre this a tiny little bit. And this one too. And the same as before, I'm going to round those corners. Oh, 
I would if I could get hold of it properly. And then I've got another little diddy panel. This one is three inches by three quarters of an inch, which is uh, seven and a half by two centimeters. And I'm having to feel that this is in the right place. And that was pretty good. Yay. And then pop that on. That's going to come on here. Right, and start putting it together. So, I have some tear and tape there. So that's going to come round. And so this is what's going to be the front. So I'm just going to get tear and tape on there first. Only because it will be just far too fiddly. Okay. <coughs> So that's sealed up and bring those two. Oh, oh, it's glued itself. That one and this one. Seriously, two centimeters, three quarters of an inch, tiny little bit to work with. So that's my box done. Now I need to put some magnets on and these are the bits I've been cutting away with making the boxes. So I've got my tiny little half inch circle and I'm going to get four circles. And I've got my neodymium magnets. These are eight millimeter by one millimeter. They are super strong. You don't want any more than one millimeter. They are just, it's, they're too thick. Anything less than one millimeter, however, is not strong enough and they snap these snap very easily as it is um, so I'm using mini glue dots and because they're so strong that's why apart from anything to disguise them I'm putting this on the cardstock on because it just takes some of the strength out so snap that on there and then another mini glue dot whoops on the back there bring that round and then just gently separate and you can push firmly with your thumb another mini glue dot over that and that will stay shut and then the same on here so grab another magnet another mini glue dot onto there and again push firmly another one of these these magnets are so cheap you can comfortably use plenty on a project not that you need to but you know the fact that I'm using four on one project that's cost about eight pence Oh no, I don't need to put that on there yet. Right, these were my part scores. And just, again, same as I've just done the pocket, just fold it over, gently separate, so you're leaving one of them behind, and then press firmly to get it stuck down. And that on there. And that's, whoops snapped itself shut right we're gonna put some liquid glue on the back of here and i'm gonna to have to hold this to myself so i can see where i'm putting it so that looks about right i'm just gonna hold that in place and i'm gonna tell you while i'm holding this about my straps now, these were leftovers when I cut my piece of cardstock down. Now, I work with A4 paper, which is um, eight and a quarter inches by 11 and three quarters. So I had these left over from the ends. I know if you work in eight by 11, you're not going to have these bits left over, but you just want little scraps. You could go for ribbons. I wanted to go for the matching colored cardstock. 
So mine measure teeny tiny quarter of an inch wide by seven inches long, which is half a centimeter by 18 centimeters. And I'm just gonna give it a little curl at one end and I'm going to bend the bottom. So I've got a little bend there. You see that? And again, little curl at one end and bend. And we're bending about a quarter of an inch. All right, a mini glue dot there. Oh, let's try that again. Mini glue dot there. And a mini glue dot there. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> And where you're putting them is on the outer bit, so where you've bent it. And starting towards, so you, the middle of that half, press it on. And this one, bring it to the middle at the top. And the same on here. Let's press a little firmer this time. Same place there. And then these ones are gonna come up and I didn't get that very well positioned in the middle. We'll pretend it's better than it was. There we go, that's a bit better, but I've messed up the cardstock, so I'll have to shave that off or something. But that is super cute. And then all you need to do to finish, I've got this section here, this section, I haven't got a section at all, I've got a piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna grab my word, enjoy. I've got far too big a block, but that's okay, because I can see through it. Grab my memento and do we think I can fit it on that little bit there? I can and then I'm going to chop it off and pop, uh, where's my dimensionals? I want the edge piece. in there and that is my little mini backpack which I just think I just love it I think it's adorable like I said I'm going to make a domed version because you know I can or I'm going to try anyway um, but yeah I love them I think they're so cute really really sweet really cute I hope you like them too thank you ever so much for joining me I speak to you very soon bye